Hello, I'm Lisa Hamilton, and I'm president of the Law Society of British Columbia for 2022. In the spring of 2022, the provincial government announced its intention to create a single legal regulator for all legal professionals, which would unify the regulation of lawyers and notaries public and provide for licensed paralegals. I'd like to share with you a bit about the lead up to this proposal, what has happened so far this year, and what it means for you whether you're a member of the public, a lawyer, a notary public, or a paralegal. The concept of a single legal regulator for lawyers, notaries public, and those paralegals who choose to be licensed is not new. And while the Law Society and the Society of Notaries Public have been jointly supportive of creating a single legal regulator, agreement on the details couldn't be reached. The idea of licensing paralegals to provide independent legal advice is also not new. Amendments to the Legal Profession Act to provide for licensed paralegals were passed in 2018. In the fall of 2022, the Ministry of the Attorney General released its intentions paper, which proposed the creation of a single legal regulator for lawyers, notaries public, and licensed paralegals. The paper recognized that the citizens of British Columbia need better access to justice, and the creation of a single legal regulator of all three professions would provide the opportunity to create a more modern regulator with a public interest mandate, including improving access to justice. We agree with many of the proposals, in particular that more action has to be taken to increase access to justice. But we think there are some important considerations that are essential to any new framework that establishes a single legal regulator. These are diversity, it's important that the board of the new regulator has enough seats at the table to represent the diverse public of BC. Independence. It is also important to ensure that legal professionals and the regulator remain independent of government. Everyone has the right to be represented by a legal professional who can fearlessly advocate for them even and especially when they're at odds with government. We think the kind of independence required can only be achieved if the board of the new regulator is made up of a majority of lawyers. There should be a flexible approach to the licensing of paralegals. Paralegals who can show they're competent in providing legal services should be able to be licensed to provide those services. Prescribing what licensed paralegals can and cannot do in the legislation will limit the creativity and innovation that licensed paralegals can bring to address access to justice. We think that a flexible, competency-based approach to licensing will better address access to justice, while also ensuring the protection of the public. The legislation should be enabling and let the regulator be the regulator. It should give the regulator the authority to effectively and efficiently provide the public with competent and ethical legal professionals, and then leave the rest to the regulator. I encourage you to take a look at the Law Society's full response on the Law Society website. So what do these changes mean for you? Today, there are no licensed paralegals able to provide independent legal advice, and lawyers and notaries public are regulated by two separate organizations that essentially do the same thing. If you're a member of the public, our hope is that the consolidation of legal regulation in a single regulator will benefit you by advancing the objective of improving access to justice, but without compromising the necessary independence of the legal professions. If you're a lawyer or a notary public, the formation of a single legal regulator will provide for consistent regulation of practice and ethical standards across both professions. If you're a paralegal, the proposed legislation will provide an avenue for you to become licensed and to be able to provide independent legal advice without the supervision of a lawyer. We hope this helps you better understand what the government proposes. And you're welcome to reach out to us anytime at slr at lsbc.org. Thank you.